Heather Beach is on a mission to bring lap dancers to the Lord. Surprisingly, it wasn't the porn industry that objected to her ministry. We got people in here who just are not okay with the ministry. You struggle with it. You struggle with all kinds of issues. The major issue that most people struggle with is the way Heather Beach looks. That's the number one complaint that I get. Her breasts are too big and she looks too much like a stripper. That's what I hear. God can't use an ex-stripper. God can't use a person with large breasts. He can't do that. God can use any individual to change the world. Any. Any individual. As long as that individual comes in the name of love. And you need to understand how serious I am right now. This is not a joke. I'm trusting the future of our church in the hands of an ex-stripper soft porn star. me talk about how my life sucks now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how if I was to give advice to people starting a ministry where you, all of a sudden you become famous and everybody around you hates you, it sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk. It does suck, man. This is my neighborhood that I grew up in, Muskoi, and um, pretty much rundown area. I was born to a 17-year-old mother, and my dad was this wild hippie guy who eventually turned into a hardcore punker. Everything was just out of control all the time in my home. With um, heavy, heavy drug use going on around me. By eighth grade, I had a whole group of friends that were all bad kids. I was raped at 14, a single mother by 18. And when I was 20, I tried to get married and um, my husband ended up to be a complete loser. I got on a plane, went to San Francisco. I had nothing but two paychecks and one outfit. And I went into a nightclub and got a job as a go-go dancer. 